This is my first attempt at building an induction high voltage generator. Uh, this generator is based loosely off of uh, Lord Kelvin's replenisher. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you some of what I'm going through trying, trying to make this thing run. Uh, first thing I did, the brushes, when I first started, I was using wire brushes and this little CD motor uh, just way too much drag on it. I couldn't even hardly get it to rotate. So I changed those those carbon wire brushes uh, out and, and I'm using the carbon fiber. And uh, now that, that motor turns really well. So let me get my camera set up here and I'll show you some, some of what I'm going through. Okay, right now I've got this uh, connected up to my Franklin's bells and uh, I've got one wire here coming over here one wire here and uh, if I turn this on it's supposed to start up those bells well it's not it's not really going so this is something I thought was kind of fun uh, well you can see it, it's trying to kick off now uh, but it's not doing very well. But I found out I could do this. This is my Van de Graaff. If I do this, okay, my, my Franklin's bells are now working. If I pull this off, connect it back up to the Franklin's bells, they're going to continue to work. So it's almost like I had to jump start that that induction generator to get it started. Okay, I'm going to pause here for just a second and show you something else. Okay, I've stopped it, uh, shorted out the two plates. Now I'm going to set these, these are aluminum plates. I'm going to set them here and I get a lot more coverage area by doing that. Now notice when I turn it on, building up a charge, there it goes, it, it kicks off by itself. So adding these longer plates uh, are, are allowing it to work better. Okay, I'm going to shut it down again. One of the reasons I wanted to build this generator horizontal and so I could make some toys like this that I could just sit on there. Uh, eliminate maybe some of the connections uh, to make some of these things run. Uh, so let me turn this on. Now this doesn't work real well, but it does work. Let me, let me help it get started here. And that's just a clapper. Uh, So that does work. Okay. There's some more things I want to show you. Okay. Here's my little Van de Graaff generator again. And uh, a while back, Lead Motor showed a video where he was running a uh, wireless electrostatic motor. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. So. Uh, I thought I'd see if I couldn't run one off of my Van de Graaff. So let's see if we can. Uh, here's the antenna. It's not touching. And uh, here's the electrostatic motor. Let's let it charge, build up its charge. And there it takes off. It's getting some pretty good revolutions on that motor. Let me see if I can make this happen. I thought this was kind of neat. If I pull this... Okay. Notice my antenna bouncing. It is actually bouncing so hard that it's slapping the dome of my Van de Graaff there. And uh, I thought that was kind of neat too. 
So that's what I wanted to show you, and thanks for watching. I hope to have updates on the uh, induction motor soon, and uh, hope to get it running better. Thanks for watching.